Hey everybody, this is Two Boys, One Brain Cell. I'm Chuck Beeson. This is Joel Norton. What's up? And today we are acting to a hell of a hat. Bam. By the mighty, mighty Boston's. Shout out to a Patreon who picked us. Yes. We love, love the mighty, mighty Boston's. Dude, I've only ever heard them live. I know. Never put them in a playlist ever. I've had like, I know two songs. By and this is the only band that ever had me out there skanking. You were out there dancing. I was getting it, too. He was getting it. He was, I was so proud. It was like a proud father moment for me. <laughs> if only I didn't look like his son. <laughs> oh, this guy. Wow. So, should we jump into this? See what kind of hat we're talking about here? Absolutely. Well, it's clearly a hell of a hat. It's one hell of a hat. Let's check it out. Rewind it a little bit. Yeah. I didn't know he had this gruffness in him. Dude, I didn't see that coming. Me either. <laughs> Me either. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, this is going to be some upbeat. Just So this one And then comes he just off. comes out with that. This comes, this comes off like that 55-year-old was slick at one point. Yeah. It's like just a slick way of talking. Like some kind of, I don't know, like some kind of roadhouse. Yeah. You know, like, and, but because, like, the beginning, that, that flow was phenomenal the way he just spoke with it. Yeah. And, like, he has that deeper, gruffer voice in it. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what the hell's happening here, but I like it. <clears throat> yeah, this is completely opposite of everything, including live, that I heard from them. Yeah. And you got some F bombs, right? Two at the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so I love the fact that right at the beginning it's a hell of a hat you're wearing it goes real well with the earring five through the nose bold and daring you've got to pardon me if i'm staring yeah just because the whole sometimes flow. sometimes just because somebody you know they have their uniqueness yeah sometimes you just get caught up like and you're like almost uh appre huh. appreciating it in a yeah. weird way you're like okay like i never thought of that yeah yeah I, i've never seen that before i didn't think that would work but you're pulling it off well done that's unique hell of a hat too appreciate that yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> And then and then he gets down. Um, the gear you wear seems complete. Why you got to pack the heat? We question one accessory. Don't think the piece is necessary. Interesting. I, They're like, dude, you don't need a gun. Yeah, you're right. I I really also like the the way the whole thing was phrased. Man, I really dig your shoes, fat fade, and some fresh tattoos. Yeah, that the females can't refuse. Just the whole flow of that oh, beginning yeah. of the song. And if I'm staring, please excuse. I'm like, okay. First of all, the sound. I don't know if I would go for the sound normally. Yeah. Personally. When when that voice got really rough there. I was, yeah, I was like, oh. I was like, hold on. And I lost. Like, I'm like, where are we? Like, where's the where's the <laughs> lyrics? Did. I hear I'm confused. I did too. I did too. And I don't really like the grufferness, but I, I didn't expect that going in. So I was really thrown off. And then by that first beginning, I'm like, 
Okay, this is this is this is fire. Yeah, and uh, I love how at, right after he talks about packing heat with the piece, you know the the gun. Yeah, I'm. I would assume. Yeah, and then he's like, "We agree, you're dressed to kill." Yeah, he's like, "You already got it. You know, you don't need that. Wow, to add to it." Yeah. And now we're at the end of the lyrics, and we're halfway through the song. Yeah, at least that are on Spotify. We've seen that a few times. We're there. Where they, yeah. Cough. Yeah. Where they do more. So we're now going into it in, in the dark. Let's get it. Because there's a lot of you people that have been to, to the throwdowns and have thrown down with us year after year after year. About, about the third night, you start to get in a fucking groove. You start to get your throwdown Oops. swerve on. And that's about where we are right now. How does it feel? Feels good to me, too. I was like, did we just react to a live song on accident? Yeah, yes, yeah, we did. Yes, we did. And guess what? It was still fire. <laughs> I like the instrumental on that a lot. Let's just check out the beginning here. Yep. Here's my vocals. Okay. Ooh. Definitely a little more crispy. I like that a lot more. That's a hell of a hat that you're wearing. It goes real well with the earring. Fire through the nose, bold daring. You got to part in me if I'm staring. Mm. Tattoos, but the females can't refuse. And if I'm staring, please excuse. Shop is motherfucker in the joint. Oh, Goddamn, motherfucker, stop and point. The gear you have seems complete. Why you gotta pack the heat? Fuck. <laughs> I like both versions so much. I like this one a lot. This here. one's really, you can tell where they polished it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you can see in the live. That's impressive. They got it was a lot heavier. Why? Yeah. Oh yeah. So shout out to our Patreon uh, for picking the song. Apologies that we did the I, live I, version. Yeah, we did the live version. Um, both versions are going to end up in my playlist. I can tell you that right now. Um, but yes. So I I have a struggle right now. <laughs> You're like, what do we do? No, what do I do? Do you want to hear it a little further and just see where the screaming? Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Honestly, I like both, but yeah. They're both they both sound really good. I'm impressed. It's a lot heavier live, obviously. Oh yeah. But I thought it added I thought maybe they were just kind of going with a uh 
kind of a, it had more of like a rancid feel a little bit with the vocals being really gruff. Yeah. But honestly, I, I like both these versions a lot. This is I definitely will say, more sing along. I will say vocally, the live version in the more heavier screamer screaming style parts. Yeah. A little too much for you? Yeah. I can't I it it's harder for me to keep up. I can't sure. follow the lyrics when they're yeah, and you're not in really the live into, version. Yeah. But in the live version I don't care. Yeah. But for this, the casual version, oh my goodness, that was crisp. Now here's what yeah, it is very crisp. It sounds beautiful. And, I'm and I can understand the scream there too. I like that. Yes. Now here's my thing though. I didn't le- realize the live version was live until the very end. Yeah. Yeah, same. Because dumbass here, added to a playlist, just looked up the first one and added it. Yeah. And I didn't realize it was live. And then listening to it, didn't realize it's live, which is in- extremely impressive. I was like, damn, this is heavier than normal. I've, I've never heard them go to this extent. Right. But I didn't realize it was live until that very end section where they start cheering. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. What just happened? What just happened here? What's he talking about? <laughs> Love it. So, um, this is where I, I'm going to struggle because... Okay, am I re- do this one? This I'm, one right? I'm rating Sorry. this one. Yeah, because this is what was requested. Okay, so rate I the song, know. not the live version. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Okay. I mean, we'll we haven't start. technically heard the whole part of the whole right. thing, but I mean, for me, like I said, I'm I, I don't have to listen to the whole thing. Do you want to listen to the rest of this? I don't, I don't need to listen to the whole okay. thing to get the gist of what I'm going for. What okay. I'm, yeah. What I'm you do. Here. You just you got to do your thing. Um. So, the live version would not make a playlist for me. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> a little, a little judgment. A little too rough for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. But the non yeah. The non live version. It was more like gang vocals or whatever they call them, where yeah. they're like singing together than it was yeah. heavy. We'll easily make, make a playlist. No problem. Okay. As far as rating wise, I'm gonna go with what I've heard from this. Uh, the non-live version. Yeah. And incorporate the lyrics and everything I heard from the live version. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I'm like, this This is going to be a little more difficult for me here. Sorry. And, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go right around a six flat because I really enjoy lyrically. I enjoy instrumentally. And hearing the vocals with the non-live version, I really like that, the crispiness. It is. And it's the screaming parts in the live version that caught me off. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's my take there. What was your rating? Six flat. Six flat. Okay. Um. Wow. Uh, I I actually, I'm going to go with a flat eight on this. I really okay. enjoyed the, uh, that, the beginning part, just how everything was phrased and had yeah. a really good rhyme to it. Almost gave me like a little bit of a blues vibe going into with the, okay. which is interesting with the trumpets and stuff. Yeah. And, uh. I'm blown away that that first one was a live version, and I didn't realize until the end. So that right there gets kudos for me immediately. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yes, I understand 100%. This is definitely more polished. Uh, that's why I started playing. I'm like, I want to listen to the first half of the song and see the differences now. Yeah. Um, both versions are actually going to go up in my playlist because I like both and see what maybe both will win. Yeah. Know. Polished one's definitely going in a playlist, whereas the live version for me is not going in the playlist. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah. Very intriguing. Yeah. And then I'm going to dive into rating F-bombs. Go for it. And again, this is going to be a little more difficult because I like the gang vocals for that part. Yeah. In the, here, I can just. Yeah. Click all right. That. Guys, we're going to check out this for a second here. You want to start up here? Uh, or you want to start right here? Yeah. Start close to it. You made the scene and set the mood. I'm on the stage because I'm a nervous dude. I love that. No other motherfucker can compete. Fire. I I really like that part because when you get that that change up there mm. and that vibe change, yeah, and then he's dropping the f bombs. It's like, oh, all Ooh. right, didn't see that coming. Did you already listen? Do we listen to this one up here? Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I I just love the fact that it's so upbeat there. It is, yeah. And it's just like, oh, well, there's an F-bomb randomly. And it's like part of the chorus, but yeah. it still feels random. It almost like feels like you're talking with your buddy at the bar. Yeah. 
So I really like that. It's like very casually laid yeah. in. It didn't feel like he was being an edge lord. No. It just felt nicely placed. It like, felt like it belonged. Felt normal. Yeah. Like a normal, typical curse word. Right. So for this one, I'm going to go with a 6.7 on the F-bomb scale. Fair enough. And because I think it fits, I really like the the groove that it's in when he hits it. Yeah. And I, yeah, I can definitely dig it. Hells yeah. Again, apologies to our Patreon for the uh, the mix-up. It's going to happen eventually. Oh, yeah. Um, We're not perfect. No. Well, he's not perfect. I hate you so much. <laughs> you saw that coming. I did. I did see that coming. But that is our reaction to Hell of a Hat by the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. We are Two Boys, One Brain Cell. I'm Chuck Beeson. That's Joel Norton. If you liked our reaction, go and hit that like and hit that subscribe. And, I mean, you can yell at us in the comments for, you know, being special and only using one of our brain cells. Well, the one we have. You guys are, what do you want from us? <laughs> no way to add more brain cells. But you can vote for who gets the brain cells in the comments. Yes, you can. So this is a really confusing one for him. Yeah, it is. Because you have Chuck with that six rating. Yeah. You got me with an eight rating, but I fucked up and played the live version of that. Yeah. So it's like, what do you do here? I mean, you can go ahead and blame him for my six rating because I didn't get the cleaner version. I also offered to play you through the whole song, but you didn't want to. That is true. Decisions, decisions. We have lots of mixed points here, guys. Like, yeah, we do. Pros and cons on both sides. Look at that. I feel like we each got half a brain cell just in our argument. But, but, but you have one thing, or I have one thing that you don't. A hat. Let's go. <laughs> Peace out. Hey, that's a hell of a hat, bud. Try to pun me something? I did. <laughs>